Unit 15. Where were you born? Page 100. Exercise 1. Snapshot. Listen and practice. Where were they born? 1. Esperanza Spalding, musician. 2. John Oliver, comedian. 3. Lupita Nyong'o, actress. 4. Shinsu Chu, baseball player. 5. Shigeru Miyamoto, game designer. A. Japan. B. Mexico. C. South Korea. D. The UK. E. The US. Page 100. Exercise 2. Conversation. I was born in Brazil. Listen and practice. Bianca, that's a nice name. Where were you born? I was born in Brazil. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S. Your English is really good. Thanks. I studied English for many years. Did you study English in Brazil? Yeah, I started when I was seven. You were pretty young. Yes, I went to a bilingual school. I had classes in English and in Portuguese. You were lucky to learn another language so well. Do you speak a second language too? Well, I speak a little Italian. My parents were born in Milan. Page 101. Exercise 3. Grammar Focus. Past of B. I was born here. I wasn't born in Italy. You were pretty young. You weren't very old. She was seven. She wasn't in college. We were at the hair salon. We weren't at the cafe. They were born in Milan. They weren't born in Rome. Weren't equals were not. Wasn't equals was not. Were you in class yesterday? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was your first teacher American? Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. Were your parents born in the U.S.? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Page 102. Exercise 4. Pronunciation. Negative Contractions. Part A. Listen and practice. One syllable. Aren't. Weren't. Don't. Can't. Two syllables. Isn't. Wasn't. Doesn't. Didn't. Page 102. Exercise 4. Part B. Listen and practice. They didn't like the comedy because it wasn't funny. I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. This isn't my book. I can't read French. They weren't in class yesterday and they aren't in class today. Page 102. Exercise 5. 
Conversation. I grew up in New York. Listen and practice. So, Mario, where did you grow up? I grew up in New York. Were you born there? Yeah, I was born in Brooklyn. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 2008. How old were you then? I was 18. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Photography. I was a photographer for five years after college. Really? Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. And I love it. So, what do you think? Well, uh. Page 103. Exercise 6. Grammar Focus. WH questions with did, was, and were. Where did you grow up? I grew up in New York. What did your father do there? He worked in a department store. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 2008. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. Where were you born? I was born in Brooklyn. When were you born? I was born in 1990. How old were you in 2008? I was 18. What was your major in college? Photography. I was a photographer for five years. Page 103. Exercise 7. Listening. I wasn't born here. Part A. Listen. What year were these people born? Complete the sentences. 1. Melissa. My name is Melissa. And I was born in 1984 in Canada. But I didn't grow up there. My family moved to the United States in 1986, so I really grew up here in America. I went to school and college here, and I became a tour guide in 2004. I give tours to Canada. 2. Colin. I'm Colin. I grew up here in the UK, and I still live here now, but I wasn't born here. I was born in South Africa in 2000. My parents moved to the UK in 2002, so I went with them, of course. I'm a student, and I'm going to be a doctor someday. 3. Kumiko. My name is Kumiko, and I live here in Japan, but I wasn't born here. I was born in Hawaii in 1965. My parents, two sisters, and I moved to Japan in 1967, and I grew up here. I'm a reporter for a local Japanese language TV station. 4. Omar. I'm Omar. I'm an architect. I was born in 1974 in Egypt. I grew up in Egypt. I went to school and college there, and I became an architect in Egypt. I moved here to France last year. I really like it here, but I'm planning to return to Egypt next year. I want to start my own business there. Page 103. Exercise 7. Part B. Listen again. Where did these people grow up? Complete the sentences. 1. Melissa. My name is Melissa. 
and I was born in 1984 in Canada. But I didn't grow up there. My family moved to the United States in 1986, so I really grew up here in America. I went to school and college here, and I became a tour guide in 2004. I give tours to Canada. 2. Colin I'm Colin. I grew up here in the UK, and I still live here now, but I wasn't born here. I was born in South Africa in 2000. My parents moved to the UK in 2002, so I went with them, of course. I'm a student, and I'm going to be a doctor someday. 3. Kumiko My name is Kumiko, and I live here in Japan, but I wasn't born here. I was born in Hawaii in 1965. My parents, two sisters, and I moved to Japan in 1967, and I grew up here. I'm a reporter for a local Japanese-language TV station. 4. Omar I'm Omar. I'm an architect. I was born in 1974 in Egypt. I grew up in Egypt. I went to school and college there, and I became an architect in Egypt. I moved here to France last year. I really like it here, but I'm planning to return to Egypt next year. I want to start my own business there. Page 104. Exercise 8. Word Power. School Days. Part A. Complete the word map with words from the list. Then listen and check. Auditorium. Cafeteria. College. Computer Lab. Elementary School. Geography. High School. History. Library. Middle School. Physical Education. Science. Page 105. Exercise 11. Reading. The Story of a Third Culture Kid Tommy was born in Colombo, the largest city in the island country of Sri Lanka. The streets of Colombo were busy, and Tommy loved the colors, sights, and smells. He played on sandy beaches with his friends. He spoke Singhalese with his friends and family and learned English at school. He loved visiting the neighborhood markets with his family to buy fresh fruits and vegetables. Typical Sri Lankan dishes made with coconuts and rice were some of his favorite foods. When he was six, Tommy moved with his parents to a small town near New York City. His parents both had new jobs there. For Tommy, life in his new town was a big surprise. Everything was different. The streets were quieter and less colorful. The grocery stores sold so many different types of fruits, vegetables, cheeses, and cereals. There were so many restaurants in his new town. He tried Italian food, Chinese food, Greek food, and Mexican food. The weather was different, too. Tommy saw snow for the very first time. Looking back, Tommy remembers learning that the culture in the United States was different from the culture in Sri Lanka. Not better, not worse, just different. Tommy learned new things every day. He learned Spanish in school. He also learned ways that people in the U.S. communicate with each other. Tommy remembers everyone saying, How are you doing? But it wasn't a question. It was like saying, Hi. Tommy was a third culture kid. That means 
he was raised in a different country than his parents. Many third culture kids believe that they are lucky. They know and understand more than one culture, and they often speak more than one language. Tommy went to college in Los Angeles and studied languages. Now he works for a big charity that helps children around the world get a good education. Sometimes it's hard to learn a whole new way of life, but Tommy says it's the best thing that ever happened. He calls Sri Lanka home and the U.S. home too.